Hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all of you. Please don't forget your friends and let us have some good time together today. Uh, you know, uh, when we ask the Muslims about what is unique about their God, you know, they give us many things and we find them all of them they are funny and really weird. But one of the most funny things we hear from Muslims is that Allah is self-sufficient. If I want to make a study about self-sufficient, I can stay for, you know, maybe for the coming 12 hours, showing your reference that Allah cannot be self-sufficient. But I will try today to give you a few verses from the Quran to show you that when a Muhammadan he say Allah is self-sufficient, the Muhammadan are self-stupid. If we go in the Quran, when, when we ask somebody what self-sufficient mean, they will say to you, he do not need anyone. Simple. Like, I do not need food. I do not need energy. I do not need help. I do not need uh, servants. I do not need, I mean, I am self-sufficient. But if we look at the God of Islam, the description of self-sufficient, it doesn't make too much of uh, uh, progress because we notice that everything Allah he did he could not even do one thing by his own as an example if you ask the Muhammadan how Allah deliver Islam they will say to you he sent the angel Jibreel okay why he cannot deliver, deliver it himself they say to you well in Christianity didn't God he sent angels to is that because God in Christianity he need he is not self-sufficient but here you notice that the Muslim they say that if God he send somebody in Christianity he is not self-sufficient and in this case we are talking about the Messiah but if he send an angel he is still self-sufficient are you with me here you see that the Muhammadan they are they have zero in you know honesty and their logic is against their own logic because either you say self-sufficient mean that God do not need and he used nobody he just himself or you can say well God he can use he is self-sufficient yes but yes God can uh, you know he can use the angels uh, God can send his son. I mean, who is going to question God what he can do? So the Muslims, when they want, they just give you, throw at you the word self-sufficient. But the second we start looking at it, we will find it's collapsing. And let us see some verses in the Quran to see how silly Islam is and how to prove that Allah is not really self-sufficient. If we go in the Quran and we do search, we will find that Allah in the Quran, he said, he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Well, how Allah is a self-sufficient, yet Allah is the same as any human being. He cannot have a child unless he have a girlfriend. That is not a statement of somebody is self-sufficient. Self-sufficient then is my God. My God do not need to have a wife in order to have a son because he is self-sufficient. Your God in order to have a son, he cannot do it by his own. He have to have a girlfriend. And you will notice here with me that the God of the Muhammad and he himself is a questioning the ability. It's not me. If you read with me, and this is the Muhammadan translation, not my translation. He is saying, how can he, and here the funny, Allah speak about himself. He keeps saying he. And the Muslim, they say to you, yeah, he speak, uh, say he. There is a reason for that. But anyway, this is not our topic for now. The originator of the heaven and the earth. And I want you to focus with me in this part. So he's what? According to the Quran, he is the originator of the heaven and the earth. All right. How you say in the beginning, in the first line, that he is the originator of the earth and the heaven. And then... You speak about something way easier, which is having a son, saying, how can he have a son? 
when he have no girlfriend. And here we notice right away that the author of the Quran, he is suffering from a low IQ. He is not a question how Allah can have, can originate earth and heaven. The God of Islam is questioning how he can originate a child. <laughs> Are you with me? So it is very possible for Allah, according to the stupid Quran, to originate the heaven and the earth. But it is impossible for the self-sufficient to have a baby child without a woman. Which means he cannot be the originator of the earth and the heaven. Because creating the earth and the heaven is way more, you know, massive and scary. I mean, we are talking about all the space, the stars, everything you see in this, what you see and what you don't see. You know, actually, what we see from the space is nothing compared to what we don't see. So, how in the world that the first part, which is the massive creation, scary creation, is easy? I mean, he is the originator. Look how, look how smooth it is. He is the originator of the earth and the heaven. Can How can... And look, who is the one using the word how? Is that the Christians? No. This is Allah himself. Allah is saying the word how. Allah is saying the word can. Allah is saying the word he. How can he... <laughs> This is not something you say to somebody is self-sufficient. It's like saying, you know, how you can have electricity without generator? But this is, you can say to somebody, he is not self-sufficient, right? He depends on something else. So here we see that Allah, he depend on having a woman. And remember in Islam, woman, she is a weak creature. So Allah suddenly, he is equal, half, half, with the women. Because he cannot do anything without the women. And maybe actually in this scenario, the woman, she is more productive because the man, he deliver only a semen and the rest is from the women. I mean, the women, she feed the baby. The whole process of growing the baby is in the women. So, how in the world this a statement of someone is self-sufficient? Did we take a note, guys? This is a chapter 6, verse number 101. Can refute any Muhammadan, doesn't matter how big, how small he is, that Allah cannot be self-sufficient. Now, if that Muhammadan, he might say to you, Allah don't mean it. Huh? You see, the Muhammadan, he just said, that Allah the self-sufficient, he cannot self-explain himself, and he made it wrong. So he is self-sufficient to the point, he cannot be self-sufficient to explain what he is saying, and he is not self-sufficient in the Arabic. And he is using the wrong, wrong Arabic, which is leading to wrong meaning, because the word is so clear. How can he have a child if he don't have a girlfriend? If he's just saying, I don't have a child and that's it, okay, he don't have a child. But he gave us a reason why he cannot have a child. You see, I'm not the one who used the word can and cannot. It's your stupid Quran. So when your God, Holy Putter, say how can he, then how in the world can he be self-sufficient? Are we done with this one? Let us, go, let us go to other verse. I hope you took a note. This is a chapter 6, verse 101. Chapter 6, the chapter of Al-An'am, animal, animals. Verse 101. Take a note, please. Now we go to the second stupid verse in the Quran. Chapter 21, verse number 17. 
Allah is a self-sufficient but if Allah wanted to have a son or a wife he will take them from ourself but remember the whole idea of self-sufficient is about Allah is one and he have no partners Allah now is saying that if you want to have a woman for fun or to have a son we could surely have taken it from us if you ask the Muslims about us and we you see look how many times Allah here supposedly when I say Allah I mean Muhammad you know that we know all the story is fabricated by Muhammad when we see here it says we this is the first way and then this is the third way this the second way and this is the third way so in one line in one small verse if we can quote a verse Allah used the word we three times. Now, if we ask the Muslims, why the Muhammadan they use the word we? Let us hear a sheikh. Maybe a sheikh can help us. Right? Let us hear it from the Muslims. Why the Muhammadan they use the word we? Allah Azza wa Jal, if you read the Quran, referring to Africa, is asking about why Allah is referring to himself as we in the Quran. Allah Azza wa Jal, if you read the Quran, refers to himself as I or refers to himself with the pronoun we. And this is a well known way in Arabic. All Arabs know this that in order to glorify someone or when someone is in a prestigious place he refers to himself that we so the king or the queen could say that we the queen of england have decided to do this and that we the king of so and so want imagine that allah the self-sufficient he could not find the self-respect by saying I. He prefer to use we are the Queen of England. We are what? The Queen of England. But as you know, when the Queen of England, she's saying we, the Queen of England, she is talking about in her name and in the name of the nobles. Because she is not ruling by herself. The nobles is the one who elected the queen and she is the queen of the nobles not only the kingdom so she speak in the name of the authority given to her by the nobles to rule so she say we allah he glorify himself by a fake we listen he is self-sufficient if we ask the muslims as we heard this is not a real we this is not a real we. The Muslim, they keep saying to us, Allah is one. Correct? They keep saying to us, Allah is one. So now Allah, in order to glorify himself highly, he used an empty meaning word to feel majestic. He is not happy, neither he is satisfied, with being one. It's more respected and more glorified if you say, we. Well, in this case, <laughs> then my God, my God, the God of the Christians, he is the true God. Because if he say we, well, there's a treaty. He's not faking it. Allah, in order to gain more respect, he used a fake word saying we when he is not we. But isn't it this is a fake title and that's mean Allah is lying and how he is self-sufficient and he is not sufficient with his being I. And the Muslims, they keep repeating this everywhere. You know, in Arabic, this is the Arab, they knew that everywhere, everywhere. You know, what do you mean we know that? We know where, where? You know, 
what we know that people, men who they are very proud of themselves and they are greedy, they say that, you know, unless a man, uh, uh, he's speaking about a group of people, like we say we and they are a group, then that's acceptable. But to say we, just to glorify yourself, that's stupid. Because supposedly you are just one person. And the Muslims do not believe in the Trinity. A prestigious place. Prestigious. He refers to himself that we. So the king or the queen could say that we, the queen of England, have decided to do this and that. We, Imagine. the king of so-and-so want to establish this and that. So when he says we as a king, he's not referring to the government. He's not referring to his family. He's he referring to who? Referring to himself as the king. <laughs> <laughs> so Allah, he referred to himself as many when he is one. And all those many... It's just to make himself more important. Obviously, Allah is not self-sufficient and he is not self-satisfied because he needs to use a fake word has nothing to do with his existence of being one, claiming that he is we as many just to gain more respect, which is very funny and stupid. And if you are saying that Allah is copying from the Arab or people what they say, that is even more stupid. Because people, they can say we. A royal family as an example. A person speaking about his kingdom. A group speaking about his family. Uh, you speaking in the name of who? Nobody. So this is number two. But look, let us go back. Here we have bigger problem than Mr. We. Here it says, had we intend to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, etc. And I love the word etc. When the Muslim, they would etc. They throw rocks, you know, like, what the heck is that etc. What do you mean? A dog, a cat, what do you mean etc. So, had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, we could surely have taken it from us. Look here, we have a bigger problem. We thought we are done with Mr. We. Mr. We here, you know, and Mr. We here, and Mr. We here. But now we have bigger poo poo. Allah is self sufficient, the point of it to say, Allah is only one, He do not need anyone. But Allah now, He just said, We will take a partner from us. And he is talking about taking a partner as a wife or a son, as you see in the Muslim translation. So if Allah is the self-sufficient and he is only one, there's no two, there's no three, there's no four. So who is us? Now they cannot say this is the same as we. Why? Because he's talking about taking a partner. Unless you Muslim, you believe that Allah is a transgender or maybe he is the same as Satan, according to you, he have a penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh. So he if this by that, and this is how he lay eggs. But the Muslim don't believe in that. So here we have us proving to us that he is not self-sufficient because when he need to take a partner, he need to go to one of us asking for help otherwise who need us are you with me people are you with me are we taking notes this is a chapter 21 verse number 17 each one of them is enough to destroy the whole cult of islam not only just self-sufficient and destroy. the whole thing is destroyed islam all of it is is collapsed one verse this verse and the verse before it, each one of them alone is a disaster. Allah cannot have a son unless he has a girlfriend. And then the Muslims, in order to cover, you know, they start to duct tape. And Allah, he meant, you know, yes, he says this, but he don't mean that. I mean, so he say this, but he don't mean this. 
Have you ever heard of a God? Is he self-sufficient to explain the Quran? And that will be another issue too. Because if you ask the Muslims, who can understand the Quran? The Quran gives us the answer, nobody. So if Allah is self-sufficient, can't he make a self-explanatory book? Do not need a million interpretation which don't agree with each other. So the self-sufficient Allah, can he use a self-sufficient Arabic to make his book clear? In fact, Muhammad in the Quran or Allah, he said that this book is clear. So what is in front of us? The sun set in murky water and in, in the boiling water. Uh, uh, the sperm coming from the backbone. The women have a sperm coming from her ribs. Uh, there is mountains where hail in the sky and Allah break hail from them. I mean, and the thunder is an angel, you know, uh, uh, chapter 13, 13. Uh, I mean, the, the Quran is so self-sufficient. Allah is self-sufficient. So this is number two. And nobody can refute that. So reference number two is a chapter 21, verse number 17. Did we take notes? I hope so. We go to verse number three. Verse number three, I find it one of the most funny and hilarious verses in the Quran. It is chapter 66, verse number 44. 66, 44. To make you understand what's going on, I have to add tons of brackets so you might understand. And remember, the Quran is coming from Allah who is self-sufficient. But obviously, the self-sufficient Allah could not provide for us a self-sufficient book. So we need to open big brackets every few seconds to explain to the audience what Allah he meant. But remember, Allah is self-sufficient. And the self-sufficient, he do not need an interpreter to give interpretation for the stupidity he is saying. But because his book is not self-sufficient and not self-explained, so we have to add all those brackets. Otherwise, we don't understand what this verse is talking about. Who are they, those ones? So now, two of the wives of Muhammad, they have two parties, Democrat and Republican, and they are throwing shows at each other. And both of them, they hate Muhammad. And they have a strike, throwing potatoes at his house. Muhammad, he lost control of his house. If you remember, the Muslim, they made a video, an article too, about George Bernard Shaw. He said that if a prophet Muhammad was exist today, he can solve all the problems in the world while he is drinking his coffee in the morning. Now, for sure, George Bernard Shaw, he said bad. He spoke bad about Muhammad. He never saw those things. He never say any of those words. It's a fabrication of the Muhammadan. We cannot find any book say such a statement. But let us go with this statement. He can solve the problem of the world while he's drinking his coffee. But as you see, his house is collapsing. And now the rescue is coming. So let us see the self-sufficient. Allah speaking to the wives of Muhammad saying, If you two turn into repentance to Allah, your heart indeed so inclined. Between two bracket to oppose the prophet S-A-W likes. So you notice here, the wives of Muhammad oppose Muhammad. I mean, they say to you how amazing he is. So why the wife opposing him? Question mark, big question mark. I mean, they present him always. He is the perfect husband. He is the perfect man. He is the most amazing. So why in the world, all the wives of Muhammad and the most important ones are inclined, their heart, they are even, it says in Arabic, Sagat Aymanukuma, which means their their heart became like the heart of the kuffar, the enemy of the, of the Prophet. But if you help one another against Muhammad, here the pupu is start getting bigger. Let's look at the self-sufficient. Then verily Allah is his Mawla. Mawla means protector, master, etc. Okay. Remember, Allah is a self-sufficient, correct? What self-sufficient mean? If I give you my protection, do I need more protection? Are you with me? 
if I am self-sufficient, if I am the most strong person in the whole universe, and I say, listen, you are under my protection, do I need to send more protection? I think you know the answer, right? The answer, no. Because this is the most powerful one, that's it. And especially we're talking about God, not about, the, not about the God. We're talking about God who can give life, who can cause death, who can destroy the earth. I mean, we are talking about two women, they are five foot tall fighting Muhammad. So if Allah is self-sufficient, look what Allah is saying. Allah is his protector. And Jibreel, uh oh, Allah alone is not enough. Allah he is calling for a rescue. Hey, Jibreel, come over, man, I need your help. These are two women, they have no na long nails. Jibreel, he agreed. I mean, not only long nails, they have high heels. You know how dangerous the women are. Unbelievable. And they will use anything in the kitchen. Anything. The fryer, the knife, the fork, I mean, you name it. So Allah, the self-sufficient, he could not protect Muhammad alone. So now he is asking for the help of Mr. Jibreel. Now Jibreel came. Is Jibreel enough? No. We need more help. And every righteous among the believers, here we go, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, all the right, you know, all the child molesters. Okay. I mean, I thought Allah is self-sufficient and you not need help. And are we done? No. And furthermore, the angels are his helper. Nobody left in the world. No, who's left? I mean, the whole the whole heaven is down in the earth to fight two women. We are not talking about fighting the Marine of the USA and the nuke of Putin. We are talking about fighting two women, namely Aisha and Hafsa. To fight Aisha and Hafsa, Allah, he ring the alarm, inviting himself, Jibreel, Righteous among the believers, every righteous, every righteous, like me, Mimi Dawa, Shishi Dawa, Lulu Kabab, uh, Muhammad Falafel. I mean, all the, the potatoes in the world, they will come to support the Prophet Muhammad against his wives. I mean, he's a danger. How in the world this man, or the one who wrote the Quran, he is claiming that he is self-sufficient. Yet he need all this help. To do what? To fight two women. If we speak about our God, we will see that Jesus, he said to the man who cannot walk, walk. He did not call doctors. He did not call angels. Hey, come help me. Give him medicine. Do something. Walk. Carry your bed and walk. He said to the person, you go and your sin is forgiven. The Jews in their mind, he was reading their mind. You see, he did not need the help of somebody to read your mind. He can read your mind. He said, which one is easier to say to him, go on, your sin is forgiven, or carry your bed and walk? Which one is easier? Allah to fight two women, he need an army of all the Muslims in the world. Plus Jibreel plus all the angels, just to fight two women. And here you see how Muhammad is so desperate to control those women. This is cannot be from God. This is stupid. God will never say such a stupid statement. When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. Stupidity is amazing. So, do we have enough proof 
that Allah is not self-sufficient? Yes, but we can continue. We have tons of verses proving that Allah cannot be self-sufficient. If Allah is a self-sufficient, why he said in the hadith, if not you, Muhammad, I did not create the earth and the heaven. So Allah is in need of Muhammad. Allah, he depend on Muhammad. The originator of the earth and the heaven, he was just serving Muhammad. If we go and look for this hadith, give me a second. <clears throat> if not you Allah said to Muhammad were it not you I would not have created the creation but remember Allah is self-sufficient but here now we need to understand that mean Muhammad is exist before the creation is existed how we know that? <laughs> because the holy creation is exist <laughs> to serve Muhammad to, for the sake of Muhammad. Can you believe it? If not you, Muhammad, Allah said supposedly, and this is Muhammad himself appraising himself as usual. You know, this man he worship. He, you know, he is just uh, a playing God. This man he is God for the Muhammadan. Even though they say to you they are no, they worship Allah, but reality. He is their God. So if we read here, somebody is asking a question like, is this hadith is accurate, etc.? And the answer is yes. Question, what do respect of ulama, ulama mean uh, scholars in the religion and sharia say uh, about lawla kama khalaqtul akhlaq, laflaq, which book this hadith, etc.? The answer, indeed, the prophet of Allah. Look, they can't even say his name without praising him. Allah himself, he pray on Muhammad. Allah, he pray on Muhammad. And that will take us to different verse. But give, us, give me a second to finish this one. If not you, Muhammad, you are the reason for the creation of Adam and the universe will not be exist even the throne of Allah, the chair of Allah, the pen of Allah, the, the, the tablet of Allah, the sky, the earth, the heaven, the hell, the trees, the stones, all the creatures would not exist. Now, let us focus about the self-sufficient. Allah have no chair unless there is Muhammad. Why Allah have a throne? because of Muhammad. Why Allah have a pen? Because of Muhammad. Why Allah have a tablet? Because of Muhammad. Why Allah have a heaven? Because of Muhammad. And remember, if you ask the Muslim, where is Allah? They will set you in heaven. So Allah was homeless if there's no Muhammad. Now we will go to the self-sufficient, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you go in the Quran, you will find the Muhammadan. If you remember when David Wood and uh, Mimi Hijab were talking, and David, he said to him, uh, your God, he prayed on Muhammad. Mimi Hijab, he said to him, this is why the translator said, he prayed for, not to, which make a difference, supposedly, stupid. <laughs> uh, so Allah, he pray on Muhammad. Uh, if we go to this verse, we are typing in English again. Give me a second. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. 
chapter 33, verse number 56. And this is the Muslim translation. The word Salah means praying. The Muslim, to duct tape and to fix it, they say blessing. But look, the word blessing even more could make it more useful for us. Why? Because if Allah is self-sufficient, why Allah and the angels doing the same act? Listen carefully. You see, I'm not going to say now the words blessing is not exist. I will leave it there. Just to make the Abdul happy, duct tape, leave it, leave it. Your word still, even after the duct tape, which is not true, for this is the word salah, which means you salli, which means you pray. If Allah is the one who sent the blessing, why here it says Allah and his angels? Yusalluna ala nabi Listen carefully. If Allah is self-sufficient, isn't it be enough to be blessed by Allah? I think every single one of those Abdul, he knew the answer, right? They would say yes. Every Abdul will say yes. But as you see, no. Allah and his angel, and this is the Muslim translation. In Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. They are praying on the Prophet. But if God blessed me, who need the blessing of anyone? You see, even when your mother, she say bless you, she did not bless you really. She is just asking God to bless you. My mother, your mother, your father, your dad, your, your, your people here, we say God bless you. I'm not blessing you. I'm saying God bless you. Blessing come only from God. So if I receive a blessing from God, there's no after that a blessing from anyone. Or blessing only come from God. And now, Allah is commanding, not, I mean, the, 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 the poop was not over yet. Allah commanding the Muslims to ask Allah, according to the Muslims, praying on Muhammad. You see, the Muslims, they continue using the word blessing, which is false, but we will go with it. Okay. Why the Muhammadan, they will ask for a blessing if Allah already blessed Muhammad? <laughs> Do you see how stupid this book is? I mean, imagine you say to me, please Allah give him water. Allah, please he give him water. He is thirsty. And Allah gave him a river of water. So what, what, why you keep asking? So the stupid author of the Quran, Muhammad, because he is placing himself the center of the universe. So look what happened here. Based on this verse, what we have, Don't think you are going to Japan. Take it easy. I will not take you there. I just came from there. I met with the emperor of Japan, Mr. Sushi. Peace be upon him. So Muhammad, because he is very humble and he is a servant of Allah, he become the center of the world. He's in the middle. The God of the Abdul, Allah, is here. Praying on Muhammad. The angels of the Abdul are here. Praying at Muhammad. Every Abdul, and imagine all of them, they start with A. That's fun. Praying on Muhammad. So everybody throw in prayer at Muhammad. Everybody, Allah praying. The angels praying. The Abdul praying. And Muhammad in the middle. How cute. Everybody, the whole universe busy. Sending a blessing to Muhammad. But here we ask ourselves, if Allah is a self-sufficient, why we need, imagine like we have a self-sufficient electricity and we are asking the angels to send electricity. And we are asking the people to ask to send electricity.
right? So the self-sufficient Allah become Muhammad. But Muhammad is not self-sufficient because as you see, he is asking everybody to pray on him. What a doo-doo. What a potato. And they say to you that Muhammad is not God. But as you see, Allah now, he have one job, is to pray on Muhammad. The angels, they have one job, is to pray on Muhammad. And not only that, listen carefully. Are we done? No. Brother, no, no, no. You have to salute Muhammad. Do you see the salute here? Huh? Do you see a salute? The whole world, Allah, he had to salute Muhammad. Allah praying on Muhammad. The angels praying on Muhammad. And Muhammad drinking coffee in a Starbucks. And remember, Allah is self-sufficient. But this is, can't be true. Because if Allah is self-sufficient, then the self-sufficient Allah, he do not need anyone else to help him in this manner. If the idea is to bless Muhammad, as the false translation saying, well, you, that's it. Allah, he blessed him. That's it. You do not need the rest. What is the drama for? Who need this drama, all this drama? Salute. Salute Muhammad. Pray on Muhammad. Allah pray on Muhammad. The angels are praying on Muhammad and asking every believer to ask for a prayer on Muhammad. But remember, Allah is a self. help person, self-sufficient, he do not need anyone. And we can continue showing you endless stupidity in the Quran. A person asking in the chat saying, is Jesus dead? Well, even in your stupid Quran, Jesus is not. So what, uh, what's wrong with you? And here, by the way, there is something important in what this person said. Is Jesus dead? How come everybody is praying on Muhammad and Muhammad is dead? And not a single Muslim, neither Allah, neither the angel of Allah, praying on Jesus and Jesus is alive. And why Muhammad, he need all of this prayer if he is the good man anyway? You see, when I say the Muslim, they pray on him until now. Actually, Muhammad, he said to them, pray on me every Friday. They said to him, Prophet, but are you going to be dead? He said, no, no, no. No, 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 no. We are Prophet of Allah. Our body will never be decayed, which is very stupid to say. Why? Because even if this is true, that your body will not decay, what does this have to do with praying on you? I mean, you are dead. And that means the moment of mercy is gone because by the time you are done your life, your test of life is over. And then there's judgment day. So if you are a good guy, you're a good guy. If you are a bad guy, you're a bad guy. Here Muhammad, he claimed that he have a special feature. And what is the feature? Even if he die, his body will not decay. And that proven to be false when he died. If you remember, we showed you tons of hadith about the Muslim saying that the Prophet his belly became full of gas and fart. And he started farting. Ibn Abbas, he said, Bury your friend, he stink like all a human being, they stink. Even the Hadith says that his fingers, they, their color change and they shrink. But what does have to do with submitting the prayer of the Muslims to Muhammad. Is he God? Remember, Allah is self-sufficient. But you pray to Allah, Allah send it to Muhammad. And look at the first translation. It says in Arabic, 
فَأَكْثِرُوا عَلَيَّ مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ فِيهِ فَإِنَّ صَلَاتُكُمْ مَعْرُوضَ عَلَيْهِ Nowhere the word blessing appear. This is the Arabic. If you don't believe me, you can take this word, they are highlighted, the black one. You see them? I will highlight them for you. as -salat. Every Muslim he knew what as -salat. As -salat means to pray. أَكْثِرُوا عَلَيَّ مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ Increase your prayer on me. Okay, what for? فَإِنَّ صَلَاتُكُمْ مَعْرُوضَ عَلَيْهِ Salatukum, your prayer, will be displayed to me, will be sub, uh, submitted to me. Muhammad, you think, is God. The Muslim, they pray, Muhammad received the prayer, even when he's dead. So simply, Islam is very stupid, and the self, you know, self-sufficient God is not there. It's just a mission impossible. I'm not going to keep you long today. It is Sunday, and I apologize for changing the time, but I had to. So I hope today we take notes. And as you see, three reference in the Quran is enough to destroy what Muhammad he claimed about the self-sufficient. Chapter 33, verse number 56. Proving to us that Muhammad is a fraud. As you see in the front of you, Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God. Chapter 21, verse number 17. Allah, in order to take a partner, he will take it from us. And Allah, in order to respect himself, he have to use the word we. But here we have the biggest problem, which is us. Allah will partner with us. So if he is self-sufficient, why in the world the self-sufficient speaking about a woman and son as us if he is self-sufficient? And why he need even to take a partner? And how in the world the partner can be from us? Because the word us means we are equal. We are the same kind. You don't say us about you and the cat. You say us if you are one of a group of a human. If Allah is God, then the us should be about gods. So if Allah want to take a wife or a son, he will take it from us. So how you are the only one and your wife or your son will be from us, which means they are already exist. Do you understand? If I say we will take it from us, that means they are already there. Those us, they are not a fantasy. They are there. Otherwise, you are saying, I'm going to take it from us, but there's no us. That even is more stupid. And the Quran gave us other verses, like chapter 66, verse number 4, where Allah is self-sufficient. He could not protect Muhammad. And his protection is not enough against two women. So he's asking Jibreel and every single believer and furthermore all the angels as helpers. And remember, helpers. Against what? Against two women. All the angels in the world. So Allah help is not enough. Remember, but Allah is self-sufficient according to Muslims. But Allah already granted Muhammad protection from his wives. Verily Allah is his mawla, which means his protector. He's in his side. Is that enough? No. And Jibreel. Jibreel have to jump in the mixture too, because Jibreel, he play karate. Allah alone. He's tr Allah trying to scare those two women, and until now they do not get scared. They have long nails. Put yourself in their shoes, high, sh high heel shoes. So Allah trying to explain to them how massive the army will fight them. But remember, Allah is self-sufficient. So Allah could not protect Muhammad. He is joining forces with Jibreel. And with Jibreel is not enough. He's asking every single Muslim. And every single Muslim is not enough. He's asking furthermore all the angels. 
My friends, the Chinese, they said, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. I don't know who they were talking about, who at that time, but if you ask me, I think they were talking about Muhammad. You can claim to be a prophet, you can claim to be whatever you want, but the second you open your mouth, we will know that you are a donkey. And it doesn't matter who take your side, they will never be able to make you a horse. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince was serving you humbly for today. Until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord and our Lord is self-sufficient. He will not join an army to fight two women for no army can fight him and no kingdom can win against him and no kings can claim a throne in the front of him. Your God, Muslims, is so silly and so stupid. Your God cannot have a son without having a girlfriend. My God can have a son without a girlfriend, for he is self-sufficient. My God have power over the sick, the blind, the dead, the living, the earth, the storms, all everything you see around you and what you don't see. That is my Lord. I forgot to mention one thing before I go. In the Quran, it says, nothing refrain us from sending miracles except people before they accuse them of lies. And here you see again the self-sufficient. He could not deliver miracle to Muhammad. And now he is giving a false excuse why he cannot make a miracle why he cannot support muhammad with miracles well we refrain from sending miracles because people before they did not believe in them which is false all of us we knew that the christian believe in every single miracle written in the old and the new testament so this is a false excuse if the god of muhammad is the same as the god of abraham well, the God of Abraham never stopped doing miracles until now. The self-sufficient God, false God, Allah, Akka Muhammad, he could not do miracles. And now he is giving excuse. Why I want to give you a miracle? You will not believe anyway. You do miracle not because you want them to believe. So they can be witness against themselves in the day of judgment. I did everything I can to prove to you who sent me. It's not a short time. Jesus was not doing miracles to make a show. Jesus was doing miracles for this is what God do. Wherever God goes, miracle will happen. For God himself is a miracle. The God of the Muhammadan, he is not self-sufficient. He could not do a single miracle of Jesus. And not only that, the filthy Muhammad, he claimed that every miracle of Jesus given to him by Allah. So how come Muhammad don't have any? You will not find a single miracle in the Quran. They say to you, the, the Prophet, he split the moon. The Prophet, he went to the heaven. But look, this is chapter 17. This is a chapter came to him at the end of his life. It says, we gave him no miracles. The same chapter says, Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven. How in the world you say in the verse number one, you took him to seven heaven. And then you say in the same chapter, 50 something verses after, <laughs> you did not send him anywhere and you did not do miracle. Do you see how stupid the book? Remember the Quran says, if this is a book sent by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. So verse number one in the same chapter, chapter 17, it says, Allah, he took his slave to the seven, to, 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 to Jerusalem. It actually did not mention anything about the sky. Nowhere mentioned the sky, by the way. If you read the verse number one, nowhere the sky is mentioned, which is even more funny. It's very funny and very stupid that the self-sufficient God could not explain the self-sufficient miracle. And now he is claiming he took him only 
to further mosque, which is supposed to be Al-Aqsa in Jerusalem. What is the heaven? What is the heaven trip? No heaven trip. No heaven trip. It's in front of you. And then we go to verse number 59 in the same chapter saying, well, you know what? I send him nowhere because simply I refrain from giving miracles. And this is why we say Islam is lovable and Islam is durable to play with it. It is the clown religion. Muhammad the clown, he claimed to be a prophet. And you have to be a clown to believe in such a prophet. And if you are a person who believes that there's God who is self-sufficient, he will make your penis endless, you must be a clown with endless penis. And if you believe that this God who is self-sufficient will give you a wife, her butt is one mile. I feel sorry for you because then one day she is going to fart. And then you will regret every second you have her. What a stupid cult. Garbage in, garbage out. My friends, our Lord is the Messiah. His name is a miracle. His birth is a miracle. His life is a miracle. And now he is a miracle living in heaven. So who in the world want to follow the dumb, stupid Muhammad who think the sun set in murky water? And if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. And if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. And women, she have a sperm coming from her ribs. Who in the world want to follow such a fool? Who he think that he'll have coming from mountains in heaven? Who he think that the black dog is the devil? And black people are evil because Allah created them from the shoulder, left shoulder of Adam, and he said to them, go to hell, and I don't care. That is the devil himself. Muhammad is the devil. And Christ is our Lord. See ya.